What is up guys, welcome back to another video of All Things Nerd. Today I'm going to show you how to find the Murado sports car in PUBG. So unfortunately the vehicle is only exclusive to the Miramar map. Uh, I had some trouble trying to find it because I was on the old map. Figured it out. Everything in this video is only available on the test server, so you'll have to keep that in mind. And if you notice in the background, they finally added map select, so I'm very happy about that. If you're having some trouble trying to find the vehicle, I've came up with two spots that for sure spawn the new uh, Murado vehicle. And so they're gonna be in Los, he goes over by the right bridge coming up to the north, and it's gonna be over in El Pozo. So those are two definite spots. Every time I play, they've always spawned there. And here it is guys, the Murado. Very beefy sounding car, uh, very fun to drive. I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking right here guys so you can go ahead and get a listen. Two new scopes have been added to the game as well, uh, the 3x scope and the 6x scope. These are really cool, I like them a lot. Uh, there's a lot of room, the red from the reticle doesn't cover anything really, so you get a lot of space uh, to be able to see movement. Fortunately, I wasn't able to get any hands-on use with the scopes as they are rare in world drops. Multiple grip styles have been added to the game as well, so you can go and check out more details on them over the Steam patch notes. And lastly guys, the all new SLR DMR. This is a 7.62 DMR, similar to the SKS, has a higher damage rate. Uh, they said it has more recoil, but in my experience it wasn't really that bad. It was only a few shot fires consecutively, then the recoil was pretty high. I noticed this new patch as well before reading the patch notes, I don't know if they were in it, but you can now use AR attachments, barrel mods, and magazine mods on DMR's snipers such as the Mini 14, which is really cool because it's very difficult to find those mags I feel like and you only find them end game by killing other players. So I thought it was really cool that they changed that. I'm going to let it clip play so you guys could go ahead and hear how the gun sounds. Also, when reloading, you no longer have to wait for the full animation to finish to complete the reload cycle. Now you just have to wait for it to show the number. So let's say you have a 30 bullets clip. All you have to do is just wait for that number to reach the full capacity and you're finished reloading. You can now change the design of your red dot reticle by pressing the page up and down buttons. All right, that's going to conclude our video. Thank you guys for watching. I was hoping to upload this video earlier, but I had some issues with iMovie. Uh, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more nerdier content. This is All Things Nerd.